Lakshmi does not stay in lockers. Ravana tried doing it. <coughs> Ravana said that I am going to keep Sita in Ashokavana. Mind you, he, he keeps Sita as a captive in Ashokavana. And that Ashoka means where there is no grief. And the irony is that Sita is perpetually drowned in grief. Ravana says, I will keep you there. He comes and threatens Sita. He comes and tries to allure her. He says, even Mandodari will become your maid. Just nod your head and say that you would marry me. If you are going to say that Lakshmi can be locked up, this locked up Lakshmi can be very dangerous. Ravana tried doing it. Ravana was so powerful that he had brought all the three worlds to his feet. Trailokya Vijaya. What was it that was not available to Ravana? Everything. All power, all glory. All the devatas were saluting him day and night. But he did that mistake. He said, I am going to lock up Lakshmi. You cannot do that. The place of Lakshmi is not in lockers. The place of Lakshmi is in the heart. And that means this knowledge, which Bhagavan says is the form of Lakshmi, has to be there in your heart. Then comes a very beautiful thing. There is one shloka, and it says, when Bhagavan saw Arjuna, in this desperate condition, in a despicable condition, something happened, and the shloka is Ya Swayam Padmanabhasya Mukhapadmad Vinisrita. When Bhagavan saw that Arjuna is desperate, Arjuna is despondent, Arjuna is in despair. Yasvayam Padmanabhasya, this Gita on her own accord flowed out of Bhagwan's mouth. Because she is mother and whenever she sees this, Partha is, is Vatsa, is her own progeny. And whenever Arjuna or any Jeeva is in Dukkha, Lakshmi, out of her own accord comes out from the mouth of Bhagwan Padmana Bhagavan Narayana. And when she comes, you should know how to respect her. Lakshmi needs to be respected because when Devi was born as Daksha's daughter, when she was born as Sati, Daksha did that penance, Daksha did that tapasya and Daksha said that be born as my daughter and when she was born the only condition that Parashakti had put was that never ever should you disrespect me and when Sati comes home Daksha disrespects her as a result you all know what happened Daksha is Prajapati, very important. We all have been doing Prajapati Swaha every day. Daksha is Prajapati. But when she is disrespected, watch what happens. This knowledge that Bhagwan keeps in his heart or that what is called as his heart, which in fact is Mahalakshmi's form, needs to be respected. Please know this, when it comes from your teacher's mouth, from the mouth of Bhagavan Padmanabha, let it go and rest in your hearts. This is then in true way respecting and welcoming Mahalakshmi. Alright? Om Shanti Shanti Shanti.
Thank you very much, Swami. Thank you for coming all the way from Trishikesh and uh, staying here for the last eight days. Uh, some of us had the uh, opportunity to listen to the discourse for all the eight days. And it's a very nice, knowledgeable discourse and we enlightened us. Thank you very much for that. I have one more announcement. Swamiji is organizing a Charda Mayatra next year, I think it's in May, starting uh, at Rishikesh. Swamiji, do, can you please give some details about the Charta Mayatra you are organizing? Thank you, Murli. The four shrines in Himalayas are called as Charta. The shrine of Bhagavan Narayan is Badri. Badri Narayan, Badri Nath. Bhagavan Shiva is Kedarnath. Where Bhagavati Ganga has Bhagava descends, Ganga ji descends, is Gangotri. And where Yamuna descends is Yamunotri. These are the four shrines of Himalayas. Along with temp the temple, Balaji temple in Memphis, this is what is being organized. A five-day Narsimha Yadnya in Joshi Mat, which is village right below Badrinath, which has a very old shrine, almost 2,000 year old shrine of Narsimha, is where we will be doing this five-day Yadnya, followed by the Yatra. And we are trying to give, you know, all the comforts, accommodation, transport, and uh, uh, food arrangements are being made by us. And uh, we are trying to keep the fees only $2,000 per head. Yay. So it is um, an op opportunity to be there, to participate in the Yatna and do the Chardham. Where it is very difficult to go up in Kedarnath, we are arranging your helicopter service so that you can go. So even people who have problems can definitely go. But you know, we are still in mountains. So tell your friends, bring as many people as you can. Please come. You're most welcome. Thank you. That's a great opportunity that we should all have well because I think our responsibility is to go to the sea case and Swamiji will take care of it after that. Thank you Swamiji and thank you for being here. And, uh,